making. She is there, organizing events, guiding those new to the limelight, bringing openness to those who shape the destinies of the planet. In the corridors of power, behind closed doors, she is the one the leaders follow, jetting around the world to bring words of comfort to the bewildered. Ever ready to share herself with her public, she'll even give up her Sundays to bring color to our lives. Interrupting her busy schedule to be with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Dame Edna Everidge. Sure, you this is really me. I'm not a hologram. I'm not. If you don't believe that, you can come up and poke your finger in me. <laughs> be a rude shock for both of us. Aren't you? <laughs> now I am here. I've been away from the box too long, but I'm back with a brand new and wonderful concept. A lot of people over many, many years have asked me, why haven't I got my own talk show? And I've wondered about that too. Of course, it all boils down to money, doesn't it? <laughs> and for many years now, London Weekend have been scrimping and saving. <laughs> and that's why I'm here. All these little transactions happen in Switzerland. I don't know very much about it. I'm above that kind of thing. But uh, I'm here and... I have some marvellous guests because it's in the form of a talk show. It's really a monologue interrupted by a total stranger. <laughs> I mean that nicely. I mean that in a very caring and compassionate way. <laughs> but uh, we do have some wonderful, wonderful guests. Well, mm, I'm not wonderful, but anyway, <laughs> who knows if they're going to be wonderful or not? None of us know that for certain. <laughs> but I'm going to ask them questions they've never been asked before. I'm going to probe some of their most private crannies, some of their more vulnerable nooks. <laughs> well, it's going to be, it's going to be a difficult and stressful experience for some of my celebrity guests. That's why we've got little sister Bedgood, hello sister, standing by here, just in case some of my guests succumb you know, to sobbing or or cardiac arrest, or <laughs> chronic bed wetting, or hyperventilation. And you're marvellous. She's there standing by. She gives very good mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you who our guests are in reverse alphabetical order. <laughs> um, first of all, of course, a lovely little friend of mine, Mary Whitehouse, followed by Dr. Kurt Valheim. <laughs> bit boring. All I can say is you have no one to blame but my guests. <laughs> Hello, Laurie. And Laurie Holloway and the Holocaust, by the way. <laughs> and here I am on this lovely set. Funny, I don't know if the camera can see it, but funny little sparkling lights here on the carpet. Looks like Danny LaRue's dandruff, really. <laughs> the set, goodness knows, what can you say about this set except that it's it looks a bit like the inside of Elton John's dishwashing machine, doesn't it? <laughs> like that. But as you know, if I did a show, it could be just in front of old Hessian bags and people would watch it. Talking of old Hessian bags, 
I'd like you to meet my bridesmaid, my constant travelling companion, a woman who shared my life and my fortunes for many, many years. Madge, Mrs. Douglas, Allsop. Come on, Madge. Please, Madge. <laughs> Down those stairs, the staff stairs. <laughs> Madge has been with me for many, many years. She was my bridesmaid. She caught my bow tie on the back of the neck, unfortunately. <laughs> and she's been hanging around my neck like an albatross for many, many years. Makes me feel like the ancient mariner. Come on, old top. This way, darling. Don't sit over there. Sit on your camp chair, darling. And you can make yourself useful. You can empty ashtrays. Bring people glasses of water and don't ask for autographs immediately. <laughs> and make yourself comfortable. Gorgeous. <laughs> Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce my first wonderful celebrity guest, a most misunderstood mice, a woman who's championed morality fearlessly in the face of cynicism and smut for many, many years, a dear little friend of mine, Mary Whitehouse! <laughs> When I knew I was coming to see you tonight, I thought there's only one thing for you. And that's bloody hell. Yeah, you darling oh, woman. Oh, my God, I remember. Oh, what are you doing? This dressed way. up like that? Oh, well, look at you. No, but well, why didn't you tell me you, you were going to have all Please, you please. Your I can see you've come straight from work. Of course. You sit down here, darling. You sit in the hot seat. There it is. The you are, Matt. You look after this, will you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just make yourself comfortable. I have all those butterfly specs with you. They're lovely. I know you've copied me from oh, time to time. And they oh, the face furniture I department. I grew out of those a long time ago. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Much more modern these days. I love those glasses, and I didn't realise the National Health had such a range. <laughs> the obvious questions of you. you no. know, I don't want to bring up the subject of sex and violence. You must get sick of it, darling, because there is another Mary Whitehouse. Not just this crusader against porn. There is another person, so I don't want to discuss that side of no, you. I'm sorry, but I don't. Edna, I, don't. Edna, <laughs> Edna. I do not, woman. But I, <laughs> I want to ask you something. Oh. I've known all these years how concerned you are about sex and violence and such like and bad language on the television. Oh, yeah. And I thought to myself, when I had my 77th birthday last week, oh, I thought, now who is there who could really take on this great work? And I suddenly thought about you. And then I had this invitation to come and meet you. And I thought, now that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask everyone to take over a great new clean up TV campaign all the people you know. I mean, you could ask the Prince of Wales to be a patron. I could. Well, you? I've got the contacts, Mary. You could. Yeah, I'm I'm a a Are you suggesting I step into your shoes? For now. Thinking of yes. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps I could step into your shoes. <laughs> your little husband out there, you've got a very happy. Well, he's not very little, but you've got a long and successful marriage, Mary. What's the secret of it, darling? You don't know. Well, I think I do. I well, you know what I mean. Now, now, now I, you know, I've had it, haven't I, and got it. I mean, I've got the success from marriage. You can have a successful have a marriage, and your husband marriage. is here. That's right. Smiling from ear to ear <laughs> in the studio. He's yes. gorgeous, but darling, do you find enough. there's something you can do together? I mean, apart from sharing, do you garden together? Do you spend much time oh. in your lovely garden? Do we spend much time together in the garden, dear? Yeah, <laughs> We do. We're very fond of gardening. 
Yes, I I'll have it when I get a chance, but I'll yes. leave this jet set existence. Well, that's you choose to leave. It's no good blaming other people for your jet, jet set I'm not blaming anyone, Mary. Oh, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, some people are gorgeous. Talking of some people, you know it's the name of Cliff Richard's new hit single. Is that so? And we're going to hear it. He's here to sing oh, it for us. Golly. Cliff Richard's song, Some People. <laughs> I bought you... Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I bought you Sharpies. Sharpies? Well, you it's never come empty-handed. Well, they have no effect on your figure. <laughs> I've never now enjoyed my other little guest, Mary Whitehouse. Do you oh, know each yeah. other? Hi, I'm Mary, Mary and Cliff. Hello, Mary. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Matt? Matt? 
Because that's Madge. Mary. Mary, I forgot to put a little... Trace, I forget your name, darling. Yeah. <laughs> and Clip, Clip, woman, the badge, Madge, the badge. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you a little bit more, my darling Clifford, in a second. But my next guest, and I'm very excited about having him on the show, is an exotic person, a controversial person, a doctor. He is the president of the Republic of Austria, and I'd like a, ve a very warm hand for Dr. Kurt Balfour. back with Alpine Retreat. I'm glad of that. No, it was nothing personal. It's only I felt that it might get a little bit too political. <laughs> and it's wonderful, isn't it, to have all these, this technology, Cliff and Mary, at my fingertips. In case I should decide that one of my guests could be a potential disappointment. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much indeed, Kurt. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back, Possums, to the Dame Edna Experience. I have a K-ball, and I know you are. <laughs> My next guest well, what can I say except he's reached the peak of his profession. He's a gorgeous person. He's Madge's pin-up, isn't he, Madge? <laughs> and he could leave his...